around, uh, coming to your lounge room, your nightclub, your comic con, your, your, your theatre, your bed, your street corner. Tons of top. It has been 20 years since the show finished, Dave. Eh? Uh, so we've been travelling around the world, coming to see you on a fan run tour. And this uh, this time last year we did the finale here, so it's very special to bring it back here again. Uh, thank you. This time last year we had this one in there. That's why she has to come up and say hello for a second because she was officially part of the performance last year. <laughs> She's the only band member that's been to every show with she She really is. This is the remote versions, inside and out. 20, 26 shows in the last 13 months, or a little longer, 18 months or so, and this guy's been at every single one of them. Thank you so much. Thank you. On our percussion section, we have beautiful Saber. Super, 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 super. The amazing Ian, who has helped put us all, put all of this together, and we've now performed with him three times. Yeah, three times, and he has an awesome band. Please introduce the other band today. Well, two can do. Two can like the bird, and do is an Irish word that means black or dark. Two can do. So check them out online, follow you can store them, all that jazz. Then we have this guy. What am I doing with your microphone? Like, yes. He's like, awesome, brother! <laughs> and we have our amazing, beautiful girls that are helping me out with these songs, and I promised them that we would rehearse uh, three times before what we did, and, and we've had a quick run through before, so it's going to be a fun jam session. But they, they blew me away in the run through. Beautiful Gabby and Talaya. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Skywalker, the lead singer. <laughs> right, baby daddy, you better come get Skywalker. Stage jump! <laughs> So tonight it's all original. <laughs> and one of the other cool things about this whole tour is that we're all a big family. A lot of all of us know each other uh, very well. Some people too well. Uh, and you know, we've been visiting Dragon Con and other Comic Cons for over many, many, many years, the last 20 years. So uh, Jake and I wanted to give you something from our heart and souls. In every town, we've met up with amazing musicians, burlesque dancers, poets, like yeah, we've just said, if you want to come and join the performance, let us know online and we want to make this a night that we all share together. So uh, it's very, very special. Beautiful uh, baby daddy, Jed Lazinski, has pretty much come and looked after the little one. Oh, I didn't tell you our daughter's name. <clears throat> First name Sky, middle name Walker. <laughs> so the gig of one's big in this family. Good thing you got Squawker. She does a bit of that too. She does a bit of that too. All right, we'll kick it off with our first song that is all for beautiful Jen Lazinski here. Thank you for coming this evening, guys. If you want to come and dance, the stage is all yours. Make it your own and have a good night. Four kisses. Thank you. 
unusual for me. Uh, Charlotte's beauty. Which one is it? Which one is it today? So, um, we just uh, performed at the Whiskey and Go Go. I don't know if you guys have heard that. Yeah. So, Jake is so professional and he's 10 years younger than me and he puts up with all my nonsense and my snoring. And last tour, I didn't tell him I was pregnant. We kind of rocked up. He's like, I thought this was meant to be a fun tour. I'm like, I bought this joke, I bought this. I can't stop me. So, um, we, we checked in the Whiskey Go Go and like every you know, place we go to, he's like, so what, what are we doing tonight? Where are we? I'm like, yeah, tonight we go Whiskey Go Go. We walk up and on the, um, Billboard, what did it say, Jake? On Sunset Boulevard, they have the uh, the big billboard there announcing all the bands for like, it's like, Gigi and Jim can actually Wonderland tour, opening for Skid Lab, the death metal band from Montreal. <laughs> Forces with his best friend. It's more of a pop song. You can check it out online. Um, and he's an amazing drummer. So we decided to join him at, for him to join us in the Whiskey and Go Go and um, <laughs> show. And so he was on the cajon, and um, he said, "Okay, just put the mic like, to my mouth when I do the O O O's." And I'm like, "Sure, fine." And I was so nervous that I kept like. <laughs> <laughs> Skin Lab's like, what is going on here? Why does she keep smashing in the face with the microphone? <laughs> Skin Lab. Inappropriate moments on stage, on tour. Anyway, Jack, next song. Oh, this, this next song is one of my originals, so we're going to kind of mash it into one of, one of Gigi's. Um, and it's, it's a song called Feel This Way. It is on my uh, EP, which is available at Gigi's booth. I've been selling and signing along the tour. And um, yeah, it's a, called Feel This Way. It's another really unique subject of heartbreak. I'm sure we've all been there before. What? What? Um, all right. New beginnings.
thousands of all shapes and sizes and different like areas all over the world. And uh, one fun one was um, the opening of San Diego Comic Con. No. I don't know if you've heard of that little convention. <laughs> teeny tiny one. Mm. So, uh, teeny tiny one. So I said to Jake, oh, um, yeah, the first show, the US premiere of 2018, is going to be at the Comic Con uh, opening part. And he's like, what's that? I was like, it just, uh, uh, this, uh, and he goes, where is that? So it's in a nightclub. He goes, you do realise we're like an acoustic duo. I was like, what? <laughs> so we joined forces with the Flux Capacitors. If, like, if you haven't heard of them, check them out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you can tell the rest of the story. And completely jack lagged off the 15 hour flight. Yeah. Uh, got into the first rehearsal, which is about half an hour out of San Diego, on the way down from LA. And um, we get in and the band's just finished one rehearsal and they're already exhausted. We're going into a second rehearsal to rehearse our entire, our long set. <laughs> totally new set, 80s music, what like an Egyptian, yeah. Faith, uh, what I like about you, yeah. that kind of vibe. All these classic bands that are not our chilled, kind of folky, <laughs> electro-pop, original sort of things that we're playing tonight. And um, we, we get into this rehearsal, I'm completely out of it, and then Gigi decides to tell me how many people are going to be at the convention. I'm like, I don't know, what, how many are going to be at this opening party that we're going to? She's like, I don't know, it's between one and two. And I'm like, okay, one and two hundred people, that's fine. Okay, no, that's, that's even right. So, and then she's like, no, one to two thousand people. I'm like, oh, good thing we've got a band then. <laughs> Instead of just us with our little, me and my little pearl. And then, um, uh, and before I took you to rehearsal, I took him to Melrose Ave and I took him to this ridiculously flamboyant uh, place called uh, Fashion House for the Stars. And they dressed Beyonce and Katy Perry and... Uh, and Gigi <laughs> And I was about, how big, like three, four months pregnant? Same size, pretty much. <laughs> had what 30 how many years and <laughs> so I go in there and the, I go to the dude uh, I picked out my outfit already and I thought we'd get Jack, J Jake a nice jacket to match so I show Jed and Jake the outfit and it's like pardon the expression but the pe the, it looks like a swimsuit that is very high cut I don't want to put it more polite than that high -waisted. very high waisted and, like, and then it has like prongs and diamonds hanging off the things and you're like this and, and I walked out I was so proud because the guy goes oh, fabulous and I said you don't know I'm too pregnant and he went fabulously pregnant <laughs> <laughs> and then we thought it was over and he, he goes oh I forgot something he spins around and he puts on this headpiece that I swear <laughs> comes out to appear with tentacles and diamonds. I got it I got it <laughs> and I said to the guys what do you think I'm so proud they're like are you joking right and I was like what do you mean and they went and then they could see how upset I was so they went well if you just stand front on it it's okay but if you stand then it's like <laughs> <laughs> so the whole night she was like a I'm backing, just backing up into <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we, we, we've got a little song here that's very appropriate for that it's a song called Science Fabulous Fiction I have recorded it with uh, this beautiful Eurovision award winner um, but the last little bit of that story is that so Jake is so jet lagged and he would peeking out behind the curtain before the thing and there's thousands of people when it's going off and there's stormtroopers and Klingons and Princess Layers and he's like, I can't tell if I'm tripping out or if I'm really jet lagged but I'm seeing some weird stuff. And I was like, no, no, that's our peeps. <laughs> My first ever con that one was. <laughs> Uh, this next one is science fiction, and uh, we're gonna do a little, a little uh, kind of acoustic version of that, because it's kind of more like a electric pop vibe in the recorded domain. Mm -hmm. 